Okay, so Keith, you're off to Iceland on Thursday, and it seems from surface level research that we're on a pretty similar level to our opponents. Yeah, um, it's hard to know really. Um, so, in the absence of being able to get get to games to watch them live, um, we rely upon video um, and the analysis that we have, and and one or two people on the ground um, that have given us information. So, um, the level of the opposition is always going to be good in in Europe, and um, you, you know. They're a big physical side, they're an experienced yeah. side, yeah. Um, they've got some good technical players and they've got threats um, throughout the pitch, you know, really good set piece delivery um, and they've got one or two players that are very technical and got a good eye for goal, so um, we'll have to perform to our best, there's no doubt about it, um, uh, on Thursday to, to try and bring the, the tie alive back to, to, to uh, the Viva Stadium, so it's something that we're preparing and have prepared for as soon as the game uh, finished on Friday obviously we would have had um, an eye on the opposition previously you, you know since the draw has been made and we, we would have been doing some work in the background um, Aaron Fitzsimons our, our analyst has done you know an unbelievable job really you know putting together all the clips for us putting together the presentations and, and we're do we've done as much uh, due diligence I suppose on the opposition that we can but ultimately we you know we have to go and perform on Thursday and um uh, the level of the opposition, um, you know, like I said, in Europe is really good, and and, and Sharnan, you know, albeit that, you know, they've had a, a sort of indifferent start to their season, to their campaign, uh, they lost on Saturday, you know, I think it's sort of immaterial, really. Um, we'll have to produce a high quality performance um, to try and get a result and to to bring the game back, like I said, to the Aviva. Uh, a skim through the Stjernan squad brings up a couple of Icelandic internationals, but of course we're kind of used to playing those internationals from last season's opposition. Yeah, um, so so they they've got um, I think there's only um, uh, Halderson uh, if that's how you pronounce it. He's got four caps for I Iceland. Uh, good technical player plays on the left, comes in off the side with his right foot. So um, he's a source of goals and assists for 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 the team. Um, they've got other experienced players that, that you know the, 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 the midfielder their centre back the captain you know the right sided uh, player uh, plus the centre forward um, they've got some good players so um, you know last year against Favar, um we played you know uh, top quality opposition um, four of those players were in the, the, the Hungarian squad uh, one of which scored against Germany Fiola um, so it's a slightly different group we have this year in Europe um, so excuse me <laughs> so we'll have to um, we'll have to adapt um, we've got some young players coming into the squad we've got some young players that have um, you know that have played in European competition in the UEFA Youth League at the club Dawson Devoy Ross Tierney so we hope that those experiences the experiences of last year for the for the players that are still with us will will stand to us on Thursday um, but we're under no we're in no doubt that the, the opposition you know, are a good side and um, we have to perform to our very best in order to get, like I said, the right result to bring it back. Um, obviously Iceland is a, is a good long flight away but a quick look at the weather report seems that they have pretty similar conditions to us and not only that but in terms of their own fan attendance it seems like it's pretty similar to what we've been experiencing here in the League of Ireland over the last number of weeks with just a couple of hundred fans in the stadium. Yeah, yeah. so so the, I think Iceland has zero Covid, uh, there's very strict procedures um, you know, for travelling. Uh, into into their country, um, so obviously you know they they'll have a limited amount of supporters in, in, in the stadium. Um, the weather conditions, like you said, are similar to here. So um, you know I'm not quite sure you know how windy it, it will be. Obviously the, that that will depend, and uh, we've got to make sure that everything's right, right that our prep is as good as it can be. Uh, that's what we've tried to do um, since the draw has been made. But in particular, uh, the focus has really narrowed in since since the, the Pats uh, game concluded on Friday. So um, we want to give a good account ourselves. You know, the conditions will be similar to here, like you say, we're playing on a on an all weather pitch, an astro pitch. You know, we trained on that last night. We'll train on, on it uh, over there, you know, ahead of the game. And uh, we're looking forward to it. It's a big challenge for us. Um, you know, on paper, we've got a chance of progression. You know, I'm sure Stjernan will feel the very, very same. So. We've got to make sure that we put in a really, really high quality professional performance on Thursday um, and then next week will take care of itself.
Um, it's no understatement to say that the Pats game on Friday was quite physical. I think we talked about that in our interview. Um, how is the squad? I think in particular Andy Lyons took a couple of very heavy hits during that Pats game. How is the squad ahead of ahead of Thursday's match? Um, the boys are good. Um, they they were carrying one or two little niggles, but generally speaking, the, the the squad will be will be something very very similar to what was what was available to us on 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 Friday. So. Uh, yeah, it was a physical, a physical game. You expect nothing less in a Dublin derby, and um, you know, Pats didn't disappoint us in that regard. And I think we gave as good as we got. We, you know, we scored some good goals, and we came out on top, and I think deservedly so. Which brings us into into this week in good form, um, with a little bit of confidence because we let ourselves down a little bit in Sligo the week before. We didn't perform to the standards that we had done in re in, in recent games. Um, so it's 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 obviously about repeating that level of performance if we possibly can on Thursday and see where that takes us um, obviously it's been great to see that Georgie Kelly has been announced as the player of the month for the League of Ireland um, obviously very good for him but I think also a reflection of how well we've played particularly in that second quarter of games yeah brilliant for Georgie um, he's got a lot of goals for us and I think he was the natural choice um, across the league to be player of the month and uh, we're delighted for him um, it's not always been plain sailing for Georgie he's had highs and lows this this year uh, and throughout his career I suppose so um, we're glad that he's found his feet with us he's playing with confidence the team are playing with confidence we're creating chances for Georgie and he's been on the end of some good team team movements and team goals um, um, but, but pr prior to that I, and, and you know I've said this many many times so at the risk of boredom and uh, repeating myself you know Georgie was playing well um, and, and the goals uh, sort of validate some of those performances now um, yeah, you know, uh, it did take time for everybody to gel, for the team to gel. Um, our wide players are contributing with assists and goals. You know, the the two boys in the middle of the park, Ross Tierney. You know, um, ahead of the two in the middle of the park, have gelled. And Georgie and Ross have have have, have a, a good understanding and a good relationship. You know, uh, Dawson um, has been you know a revelation in the in the eight for us uh, since he's come into the team. And uh, has has shown his personality and the qualities that he brings. You know, Keith Buckley, Connor Levenston beside him. You know, we've got we've got we've got good depth in the squad. We feel, um, and competition is really important. So you know, we, if we choose to uh, to to select particular players for particular games, that it's the next man in mentality that we want. That players come into the team uh, and they they put their hands up in terms of performance and they they show everybody that they're ready to play. Well, best of luck on Thursday, Keith, and we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Thanks, Colin.